Oops, number two is a dropped quote, sometimes called a ghost quote. This is a quotation that lacks a connection to the sentences before or after it. The quote seems like it dropped out of the sky and fell in a random place in the paragraph. In this example, the quote from Halpern and Luber is relevant but doesn't quite flow with the sentences before or after it. Let's read. Developing a greater executive presence is one aspect of this course that will be of great value to me. Presence is the ability to connect authentically with the thoughts and feelings of others. Citation. My first step to achieve more presence will be to engage employees in face-to-face -face conversations. To correct this problem, we can arrange the wording of the first sentence so that it acts as an introduction to the quote and add a colon to connect them. One aspect of this course that will be of great value to me is developing my executive presence, colon. Presence is the ability to connect authentically with the thoughts and feelings of others, citation. Or, we could use what is called a narrative citation. In this case, you use the author's name to lead into the quote. Halpern and Lubar define presence as the ability to connect authentically with the thoughts and feelings of others. Citation. And you see, Halpern and Lubar define is that narrative citation. 